let's have a look at the book of you and I by Alec Benjamin the whole song is basically finger picking and this is just following one pattern and this is super easy guys so we have the cable on the third fret make sure to put the cable on third fret just to make the chords and all easy and now I'm gonna make this finger picking pattern a piece of cake just have a look at it uh, just learn the chords uh, G major 3 2 open 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 3 uh, matter of fact we actually don't have to learn the chord shapes like it's not mandatory for the song since we are not directly playing the full chord but still like uh, it's good to know the basics G major A minor mute open second second first open D major mute mute open second third second E minor 0 0 0 2 2 oh, sorry 0 2 2 0 0 0 C major mute 3 2 open first open most of the chords are actually not used for the song directly uh, what else that's it so before coming into the pattern have a look at my right hand I'm actually using my thumb to hit the E A of the D string so these are the three strings where the bass note of any chord may be located only these three strings I'm using my thumb index finger for the G string my middle finger for the B string and my ring finger for the high E string and the pinky is actually useless or you can just let that rest over here and play or you can just lift that up and play it's up to you how you feel like and the pattern like most people will be asking for tabs but like it was a time like whenever I used to make a video I always had a tablet in front of me but what I saw is like it's better to learn without a tab since it actually follows the pattern most of the other youtubers which I see showing you how to play uh, some finger picking stuff they actually make it a lot difficult but not by not seeing the pattern like it's all about the pattern and they actually ask for money when just gonna ask for the tab like they have their own website or you can actually have a look at the tab uh, that's good like no one works for free but still like it will be a lot easier for everyone if you just get the pattern you will improve a lot more faster so let's have a look at the pattern of the song what you're doing and matter of fact I'm actually playing this uh, pattern on each chord no matter what the chord is so I'm actually uh, let's have an example let's take an example of a G major chord 3 on the E 3 on the B that's it 3 on the E 3 on the B so I'm actually hitting the bass note, the root note, the lowest note of each chord from where the name of the chord comes out. So we have, I'm playing the bass note and the G string, then the B string, then the G string, then the bass note and the G string. So we have bass note, G string, B string, G, bass note, G. Uh, for this chord it will be a E, G, B, G, E, G and that's it guys that actually re gets repeated for all the chords now like for the C major and just hear this part a little bit more carefully like for the G major chord whenever I say a F sharp chord or maybe when I say a E minor chord the bass note is on the top E string when I say a D major chord it's on the open D string and when I say a C major chord it's on the third fret of the A string when I say a A minor chord it's on the open A string that's how we get the bass note so uh, the structure actually goes like this we have the verse then we have the pre-chorus then we have the chorus then the whole part actually gets repeated another time so verse pre-chorus chorus the two and then we have a bridge and then we have the chorus so it's pretty simple just basic finger picking stuff going on uh, and it actually it's a like a lot of repetition going on so let me show you the verse exactly how it actually goes so we start off with the G major chord, 3 on the top E, 3 on the B and rest all open. So we do that pattern 4 times. 2, 3, 4. And then you're just gonna have the 3rd fret on the B string fixed. And you're gonna use your index to hit that 2nd fret of that E string. So we are now on an F sharp chord. So we're gonna do that exact same pattern but just once. And then we're gonna play the open E string and we're just gonna play that pattern just once. So it's an E minor chord. But as I said before, we are not using any chords directly for the song. But still I have a thought from the B string. So we're just gonna repeat the same pattern. And now you move on to a C major chord, it's just third fret on the A string, third fret on the B string, again everything open. So the third fret on the B string is likely fixed for the whole song. Uh, we repeat the same pattern, but just work out your mind like I told you the bass note the bass note for the C major chord is on the A string so we're just gonna play the A 
A G B A G A A G B G A G A G B G A G So we just can't play that twice. So here the verse goes like this, and also the second verse. Two, three, four, F sharp, E, C, C. So eight bar, I mean four bar completed. Done. Verse done. Pre-chorus. Uh, it will be uh, A minor and a D major chord. But the way what we are doing is we are playing uh, open A string. Like I'm having third fret on the B string and rest all open, and I'm playing the pattern four times on the A minor chord. Again, the A minor chord is having the bass note on the A string, and then I move on to a D major chord. I repeat the exact same pattern, but as I told you before, the bass note is now on the D string. So we just gonna play D G B G D G, and I just see him doing. Uh, like uh, whenever anyone actually finger uh, plucks any D major chord, he has to do this. I have run from two to three back to two. So it's very common. So we just can't play A minor D major, A minor D major. Done four times. So we have the pattern. One, two, three from the beginning pre-chorus. Two, three, four. And guys, when you come to the D major chord exception, we have the second fret on the G string, third fret on the B string. We have the third fret on the B string, but now we have the second fret on the G string. So we are playing. Back to A minor. D. And we are now in the chorus. And like the chorus is said, uh, there's a lot of repetition in the song, it's more of like a verse and a pre-chorus combined. So let me explain you. We just can't play the verse, what we did previously, we just can't play that verse for the chorus and then we just can't play A minor and the D major like it's played for the pre-chorus. So the chorus is more like chorus equal to verse plus a pre-chorus. So here's how the chorus actually works. And let me say G, 2, 3, 4, F sharp, E, C, C, A minor, 2, 3, 4, D, 3, and repeat that whole segment another time, verse done, uh, sorry, the chorus done. So now we have that whole thing repeating itself, so verse, pre-chorus, chorus, and now we have the bridge, which is a lot same, but over here the pattern is just a little bit different, the chord progression. So we play the G major chord as I told you before, we just gonna play the pattern four times right now. Now we just gonna play the E minor chord, the pattern four times. Then we gonna go to our A minor chord, play the pattern four times like we did previously, but just just change the chord progression. And at the end, you just gonna play the D major chord, second fret on G, third fret on B, same pattern. So let me show you how the bridge actually sounds like all put together one two three four and then we have the last chorus the song is done the last chorus is exactly same same finger picking pattern so same like we just have one small pattern of finger plucking like if you are able to learn maybe 10 songs having different finger picking style and you got to know the pattern like if you have or maybe anything you will be able to likely master this finger picking pattern like this finger style stuff and all so it's all about that learning that one basic rhythm which we have pung the ting the ting pung the ting the ting. That's basically everything for the song. I hope this video helps you out. If you have any doubt or any question regarding, make sure to drop a comment down below. If you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys back in the next video. Till then, bye.